Welcome back, it's your host GF, and we're live on location. Uh, beautiful home, beautiful friends, and uh, this is the NFL playoff recap, and then the Dallas Cowboys uh, at Tampa Bay Buccaneers preview. So let's start with, well, we'll go in order. The Niners, uh, Brock Purdy, I'm saying it now, Brock Purdy's a franchise quarterback. Um, what I see in him versus guys like Dak, Kirk Cousins, guys that have been around for five or six years, he sees the field, he's very confident, he's playing within himself. And Brock Purdy is an example that you don't have to be a big, strong running quarterback or have the biggest arm. He just, he, he believes in himself, he's clutch, and he's getting it done. So the Niners, they, uh, you know, they pulled away from Seattle. There was that big turnover, turnovers matter. Good for Geno Smith, he played well, but the Niners are just much better than them. Saturday night, uh, that's probably the game of the weekend, wild card weekend, but we'll see. We've still got one left here tonight. Trevor Lawrence, you can't start any worse for interceptions in your first playoff game in the first half. And then what an epic comeback clutch. That's why he's first overall. That's why he's going to be the real deal, just like Joe Burrow and them. And uh, the Chargers, that's an epic uh, meltdown. Uh, I think that's the third biggest comeback in NFL history. So a little shades of Patriots and Falcons in the Super Bowl. And then the Monday games, sorry, the Sunday games, a little bit boring because you knew that there was no Tua, so the Bills should have handled their business a lot easier than they did. Josh Allen was sloppy, and it almost cost them. Uh, so, But the Bills get the victory. Kirk Cousins, classic, can't get it done if it's not 1 o'clock. And the sad thing is he had a very solid game stat line, but when they needed him to tie the game, he choked. I don't know what that pass was to Hawkinson with the game on the line, four-yard pass defender right there there was nothing he could do but that's also on minnesota's bad defense so that's kirk cousins though man at the end of the day you can't believe minnesota they're 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 a cursed franchise and the giants daniel jones and saquon barkley are getting better they're definitely going to get re-signed and uh the cowboys the eagles uh the giants are coming you got to give them credit they have no weapons wide receivers if they can fix that they got something in the future uh and then the sunday nighter Again, no Lamar Jackson, so the Bengals should have taken care of this one a lot easier than they did, and they didn't. It took a Hubbard 98-yard fumble return to the house. They got it done, but next week, Joe Burrow is going to Buffalo. Burrow and Allen have to both be better, or they're not going to win the game for their teams. And that's just a little recap. So now, all eyeballs, Monday Night Football. The GOAT, Tom Brady, Dallas Cowboys, Dak Prescott. And Tampa, much like my Leafs, uh, we got to get through Tampa. We, there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. We lost to them last year. We lost to them this year. It was embarrassing. Dak Prescott, the pressure's on. You have to perform tonight. Of course, you need your defense and running game and coaches to not make mistakes, but it's a quarterback league. Tom Brady and Mike Evans start to find the, their game a bit down the stretch. You guys let me know what you think's going to happen. I, all the Cowboy fans on SFW, Good luck. Send me messages throughout the game. I'm a little bit nervous, but excited at the same time. But we should win this game. We were 12 and 5. They were 8 and 9. And uh, no excuses. You're seeing the quarterbacks that are performing and getting it done. Dax had enough experience in this league. Has to have a big game tonight. If he loses the way Kirk Cousins loses, it's like, okay, you had a good stat line, but you choked at the end. And it was your defense that was shit. But I, I hope that's that it doesn't come down to that. I hope our defense, you know, if you can hold Tom Brady to under 21 points, you have a chance. And then that's going to set up Dak Prescott. Can you make the throws? Can you avoid the interceptions? And at the end of the day, you got to win the game. So this is it. We're ready to rock. Good luck. All eyeballs are going to be on this game tonight. The Cowboys, the GOAT, Tom Brady. I, I think Tom Brady's going to win a close one. I think I'm going to uh, be uh, <laughs> drowning my sorrows later on, but... Hopefully they can pull it out, and uh, that would be a great victory for all Cowboy fans, and especially for Dak, Jerry Jones. They need it. Let me know what you guys think. Kickoffs in like half an hour. I'm gonna. I want to say how about them Cowboys, but I'll save that for the uh, the post game. I think I'm gonna do the post game later on tonight, especially if they win. And uh, there's nothing left. Kickoff, no excuses. Dak, this is a big game for your legacy, and if you shit the bed, then the criticism is warranted from everyone. But we're going to find out three hours from now. Go Cowboys.